Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Dr. Robinson, and we are going to continue our studies. And this time, we're going to talk about cross sections of three dimensional figures. So, that was a movie that I'll be showing in class. So, here's our vocabulary solid figure. It's a three dimensional figure which has length, width, and height. A prism has a pair of bases that are parallel. So the bases are parallel and they're congruent polygons. Its other faces are rectangles. For example, here's a rectangular prism. It has exactly six faces that are rectangles. So here's a face out front here or you can say a face on the top here. Here's the base on the bottom here in yellow. So there are six faces. Notice the sides here and the sides here. They're parallel to each other and they are also um, rectangles. So you have six rectangles here. So that's a rectangular prism. Here are some other figures that are also uh, three-dimensional such as the cube. It's a rectangular prism with six square faces. So there are six faces. You would think of a dice cube when you're thinking about a cube. Here's another three-dimensional shape, a pyramid. It has one base that is a polygon. So one of the bases, the bottom. It's a polygon. It could be a square, rectangle, Pentagon, I've seen uh, a lot of different bases for the pyramid. The other faces, though, are triangles, though. So it can have a lot of faces that are triangles in shape. The height of the pyramid is called the altitude. So that's how tall it is. So here's it is with our right angle there. That's the altitude. The height of the pyramid that on a, its lateral or side face it's called the slanted height or slant height because it's, it's slanted. A rectangular pyramid has a base that is a rectangle. As I said, there are many different bases that a pyramid can have, such as a rectangle, a square base pyramid. And speaking of the square base pyramid, uh, it has a base that is a square. Vertex or apex is your top point up here, and your bottom is a square. Now, we're going to talk about these three-dimensional figures that when we start slicing them by some type of plane to show a new two-dimensional view. The view is called a cross-section. So it's a slice of the three-dimensional figure into to a two-dimensional figure now. So we're going to take a look at something here that you might have seen. I have my student, Thais. She wants to make a sandwich for her friend, Juan. If she slices the salami vertically, that's up and down. There's a knife. What shape will the salami slice be? So this is pretty much like uh, a cross section where she's slicing it straight up and down. And what shape do you think it's going to be? A rectangle? Circle? Triangle? Well, let's see. The salami is in the cylindrical shape, cylinder. So it's going to be parallel with the base. So I would say B, circle. And B is correct. So notice it depends on which way you're slicing. If you were slicing it horizontally across the grain, that would be a more so of a rectangle because it would be parallel with this side of the cylinder. So it'd be more so of a rectangle. So it depends on which way you're slicing. So be careful and notice which way you're slicing. Here's one for you. A square base pyramid is sliced by a plane that is parallel to its base. What is the shape of the cross section? So they're cutting it straight across. It's being parallel to the base, which is a square. So think about what shape is going to be coming out. So it's going to be parallel 
remember to the base. So what shape is going to come out? You take a guess. Check your understanding. If you're still uncertain, take a look at the video again or write down your questions. I'll be glad to answer them in the morning. Here we have a slanted rectangular prism is cut by a slanted plane. Below, what shape is going to be the cross section? So here we're going to cut this rectangular prism and we know that it's supposed to be parallel with the base. So it would be a rectangle normally, but this is going to be on a slant. So it's cutting it slantedly. So it's not cutting straight across like we normally would cut. We're cutting slanted on a on some type of diagonal or some type of angle. So it's not going to be exactly parallel. It's going to be slanted. And since it's going to be slanted, it won't be rectangular because it, if that would be parallel. It's going to be a slanted rectangle or a parallelogram, which is a slanted rectangle. So I would say C. And C is our correct answer. So be careful when it's slanted. It, it slants your figure to the base. So be careful with that. Here we have a cube. It's sliced at the corner. So it's cut off at the corner. What is the cross section of the cube? So what do you think it's going to be when they cut it off at the corner? You take a guess and tell us what you think. We'll pick that up in the morning. Here I have Kyle will slice a pyramid with a plane that is perpendicular to the base and passes through the top vertex. What is the shape of the cross section. Ah, so that I want you to draw and figure it out. And I even have a perpendicular cutting this time. Uh, that is perpendicular to the base. The plane is that is perpendicular to the base and passes through the top of the vertex. Ooh, this is interesting. So what do you think the shape is going to be? We will find out in class. So check your understanding. See if you understand it. Hopefully you were cutting up sandwiches like Thais. But if you're still uncertain, write down your questions and I'll be glad to answer them. Here's a good extra credit question. If a cone is cut by a slanted plane shown below, what is the shape of the cross section? So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you look up the word ellipse and see what that means because that's one word I did not give you. So I have come down to the end of my time and I hope you got something out of this. So we'll continue next time and I'll see you in class. This is Dr. Robinson signing off. Bye-bye.